Gaming keyboards have always been a crucial element for any serious gamer. And the competition between brands is more intense than ever with the latest innovation, Rapid Trigger. Wooting and Razer, both giants in the gaming peripherals market, have introduced their own takes on Rapid Trigger technology. So in this video, we will compare the unique implementations and advantages offered by each brand to determine which gaming keyboard stands out in the quest for the ultimate experience. Earlier in July 20th, 24, Razer beat Wooting to a speedy new keyboard feature that lets players counter strafe more quickly in a variety of competitive PC games. Now, Wooting has implemented the same feature. Normally, to switch strafe directions in a first person shooter, you have to fully release one key before pressing the other. If both are pressed, they cancel each other, and you stand there like a dummy for a moment until you release one of the keys. Professional players have mastered not overlapping A and D keys to get perfect counter strafing and movement in games. But with Razer's Tap Snap and Wooting's new simultaneous opposing Cardinal Directions or SOCD Beta, you don't need to release a key and can rapidly tap the A or D key to counter strafe with little to no effort. Wooting has also been working on a similar feature called Rappy Snappy, which works a little differently. Rappy Snappy takes advantage of Wooting's Hall Effect switches and prioritizes keys based on how far down they're pressed. So it's not the same as the last pressed priority SOCD feature that Razer has branded as Snap Tap. While Wooting initially resisted SOCD in favor of its own approach, it's now offering both options for its keyboards. Wooting's implementation of SOCD is actually better than Razer's, which offers different resolutions and the ability to have both keys active at the same time, if that feels a little more natural to you. When it comes to build quality, both Wooting and Razer bring their A-game. Wooting, despite being the newer kid on the block, doesn't cut corners. Their keyboards, particularly the Wooting 2 HE, boast a solid aluminium frame, and the design and construction mean their keyboards can endure even the most demanding use. The keycaps are double-shot PBT, which means they'll resist shine and wear for years to come. Razer is renowned for its robust build quality, often using aircraft-grade aluminum in their frames. The Huntsman V2, for example, is solidly constructed and features durable key switches rated for up to 100 million keystrokes. The ergonomic design and premium materials ensure that Razer keyboards not only look good, but also withstand intense gaming sessions. Both brands score high marks in the build quality department, but Razer edges out slightly due to its more consistent quality control across its product line. Wooting, while excellent, has had a few reported issues with keycap legends wearing off prematurely on some models. Here's where things get interesting. Wooting's keyboards with their analog input capabilities offer a unique advantage in both fast-paced and casual gaming scenarios. In shooters, you can fine-tune your movement speed by applying different pressures to the WASD keys. In racing games, you can achieve precise throttle control without needing a separate controller. Razer's offerings, particularly those with optical switches, excel at fast-paced gaming. The low actuation force and quick reset times make rapid keystrokes a breeze. However, for casual gaming, some users find the hair trigger sensitivity a bit overwhelming. For fast-paced gaming, it's a close call, but Razer's optical switches might have a slight edge in terms of raw speed. For casual gaming and versatility, Wooting takes the cake with its analog capabilities, which offers a more nuanced gaming experience across various genres. Let's see how our contenders stack up in terms of both hardware and software customization. Razer's Synapse software is a powerful form of customization. It allows for intricate lighting control, key remapping, and macro creation. The Chroma RGB lighting system is a visual feast capable of creating stunning effects across not just the keyboard, but other Razer peripherals as well. Wooting's Wootility software, while not as flashy as Synapse, offers deep customization of its analog functionality. Users can create multiple profiles with different actuation points for various games or applications. The RGB lighting, while present, isn't quite as advanced as Razer's Chroma system. 
However, Wooting pulls ahead in hardware customization. Their hot swappable switches allow users to easily change out switches without soldering, a feature not commonly found in Razer keyboards. So this round is a tie? Razer wins on software customization and lighting effects, while Wooting takes the cake for hardware customization with its hot swappable switches. Even the best keyboards can run into issues, so let's look at how these companies handle customer support. Razer, being a larger company, has a more established customer service infrastructure. They offer 24-7 support through various channels, including live chat, email, and phone. Their warranty periods are generally standard for the industry, typically ranging from one to two years, depending on the product. Wooting takes a more personal approach to customer service. While they may not offer 24-7 support, many users report quick and helpful responses from their team. They also offer a two-year warranty on their keyboards, which is on the generous side for the industry. Razer's all-day availability is a big plus, but Wooting's personal touch and longer warranty period are significant advantages. Now for the million-dollar question, how do these keyboards stack up in terms of price? Razer's keyboards tend to be on the pricier side, with their top-of-the-line models like the Huntsman V2 Analog retailing for around $249.99. However, they do offer more budget-friendly options, like the Black Widow Tournament Edition Chroma V2 for around $139.99. Wooting's keyboards are generally more affordable. The Wooting 2 HE, their flagship full-size keyboard, retails for about $185, while the Compact Wooting 60 HE comes in at $175. In this category, Wooting takes the win. They offer comparable, and in some cases, superior technology at a lower price point. However, it's worth noting that Razer's higher prices often come with additional features and a more established brand reputation. After this intense keyboard-to-keyboard -keyboard competition, who comes out on top? Well, like many things in life, it depends on what you're looking for. If you want a keyboard from a well-established brand with a wide range of options, strong build quality, and a powerful customization suite, Razer is your go-to. Their SnapTap technology is impressive, and their keyboards cater to a variety of gaming styles. However, if you're after modern rapid trigger technology, deep hardware customization, and excellent value for money, Wooting is the way to go. Their Rappy Snappy technology and hot swappable switches offer a level of customization that's hard to beat.